guy then presents 26 questions today with St George, Illawarra, front rower, Lachlan Tim. How are you today, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? That's the way. So where did rugby league start for you, mate? Uh, we started playing rugby league when I was about seven and I was up living on Weeper, so up near the park in final Queensland, and uh, we played for the school teams. So we had two school teams and we just versed each other eight times a year and that was our comp. So <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, it was pretty good. So we played up there and um, after that moved down to Sunshine Coast and played from Richshaw Swans from about under 11s to under 18s. And after that, um, moved on to the Falcons. Yeah, nice. So through your junior footy, did you make many rep teams? I uh, made the under 15 schoolboys and that's about it, under 15 Queensland schoolboys side. Apart from that, made all the local Sunshine Coast sides, Sunshine Coast yep. regional sides, apart from that, not much. So. So, so you're a local Sunny Coast boy and you get signed by the Melbourne Storm under 20s when they relocated to the Sunny Coast. How did you then gain a contract with the NRL Storm? Um, so I played um, obviously the whole year for the under 20s side on the Sunshine Coast and then um, after that, my first year of under 20s, I went unsigned, so I'm in 2017. Then about three games in the 2017 season, just got a call from the Storm and they wanted to sign me, so it was um, pretty good. So I was very excited about it. Obviously, that was my goal for that year to do yep. that, so about to do that's pretty awesome. Awesome. So what would be your most valuable lesson you learned down in Melbourne? I think um, probably just if you want something, you've got to work hard for it sort of thing. That was something that Craig always spoke a lot about and what their club's built on, so I think yep. that was probably my main lesson I learned of that. Out of the coaching staff, who had the biggest influence on you? I uh, probably Aaron Bellamy, yep. um, Jason Riles for more position specific. I spent a fair bit of time with, but I yep. think Aaron did my video each week to me for my games with the Falcons. I think he was probably my biggest influence. He yeah. was always very positive in things, but um, also understood, uh, very understanding in terms of things to work on. He was always really supportive and helped me out with a lot of things, which was really good. Out of the playing group, who who would you say had the most impact on you personally? Probably Christian Welsh. I think Christian Welsh helped me out a lot. He just Spoke to him a fair bit, he gave always gave me a lot of feedback yeah. on how to improve on things and that sort of stuff. But um, I think just watching guys like Jesse and yeah. Jesse Bromwich and yeah. those sorts of fellas train was always really exciting. Yeah, yeah. They've been playing in NRL for a long time, plus just the way Cameron Smith leads the side and all that sort of stuff. He's a different position, but just his leadership and that is just second to none, so it's good to see him. Yeah, yeah awesome. So, St George, how, how did that all come about? Uh, so, about halfway through last year, I had the conversation with Melbourne my second year of the contract which is going to be another development contracts and I was looking to be in a top 30 somewhere yep. so um, they obviously said that they've got a bit of interest from other clubs so they thought it might be a good idea for me to look yep. at that and I think that was really nice then to be able to do that for me to obviously do that so um, about a couple, of months, a couple of weeks later I met up with one of the Dragons people in my game and then they, I got a contract about a month or two later so that was how it all worked out last year so um, that was it's really nice. It's awesome, exciting stuff, good. stuff, isn't it? That's good. So, living in um, Wollongong, what's it like? Uh, it's very similar to Sunshine Coast, very similar to where I live here. I live up in Majimba, yep. on the Sunshine Coast. But uh, it's the same, really close to the beach, walk to the beach, it's all those shops around sort of thing. Good so lifestyle, like, eh? Yeah, good lifestyle, it's walk everywhere, ride everywhere, so it's really good. Give a yeah. scooter out. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 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 right. 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 Are you living pretty close to everything? Yeah, I just live 200 metres away from the stadium, so yeah. I just walk to train every day or scooter to training sort of thing, which is really good, so yeah. That's pretty good. So, you're an absolute animal on the field and probably one of the softest blokes I know off the field. How do you flick that mindset when it's time to go on, on gang time? Um, I think it's probably just something I've learned over the years that I play my best when I'm in a certain mindset. Yeah. So I think if I can just get myself in that mindset, that's when I'll play my best. But I think if I'm in that mindset off the field as well, it's probably not the most enjoyable way to be doing things. But yeah. I think once it's just sort of off the field, um, I'm not part of the playing, so yeah, yeah. don't have to be like that, but I yeah. really enjoy being away from footy sometimes, but I think when I do play, it's good to get in that mindset that I'm ready to play. So what's next footy-wise for you? Um, at the moment, there's just a fair bit of um, retirements and players moving around the Dragons, so I'm a bit unsure what I'm going to be doing next year. Hopefully, we will get an answer soon, get yeah. a bit clarity in my future, but um, hopefully, we'll be able to find, if I'm like the Dragons still, yeah. the squad there, once it's sorted out their stuff, I'll find another club somewhere else. But I'm just trying to take it week by week and play as well as I can, so that would make it easy. So you can do that. Man, it can make it easy for my manager. Yeah, perfect. So on a more serious note, how is the love life going? Yeah, it's alright. I'm moving around a fair bit, so I'm meeting a fair few new people, but I'm single at the moment. So you're single? Yeah, I'm single. At the moment. Would you like to look down the camera and put a special message to any ladies? <laughs> no, I've got nothing to say. <laughs> nothing, nothing to say. So how does um, how does one relax outside of rugby league? I like to play golf all the time away. There's a couple of boys, Paul Warren and Blake Lowe, they enjoy playing their golf, so they're um. They go all right, probably on the same level. Block is probably a bit better, but yeah. Bonnie's probably on my level a little bit, but it relaxes me, gets me away from get out of the house a bit, so I enjoy doing that. So Yeah, awesome. So being a schedule is quite busy, how often do you get home to see the family? Um, 
probably once or twice a year throughout the buys year, a couple of buys a year, so I do that. But um, I was pretty fortunate last year at Falcon, so I just fly back yeah. each, each week from Melbourne and play and see them. But this year it's probably different. Once or twice a year they come down a bit as well, so yeah. they come down to see me play, which works out right. Hey, awesome. So mum and dad, what sort of influence did they have growing up? Oh, they were massive, just always supporting me and um, just always knowing they've got your back sort of thing, um, look after you sort of thing. So um, yeah. I think when I was young, my brother helped me a fair bit because he obviously is a year and a half older than me. He was always in the Broncos developments and the yeah. Broncos Senior Academy contract with them, yeah. so he taught me a lot of things he learned there, which helped me a lot. So I think yeah. they're really good, but I think always just mom and dad always support you, yeah, yeah. no matter what you do. So it's, it's awesome fun. to have a good family to fall yeah, back on sure. All right, so a few quick questions now. Favourite food? Uh, cheesecake. Cheesecake, all right, nice. Favourite song at the moment? Uh, Macklemore these days. Yeah, nice, Macklemore. Most embarrassing song on your iPhone? Oh, probably just Justin Bieber, Never Say Never or something hey, like that. Hey, Bieber. Yeah. Bieber, yeah. yeah. Right, I like that. If there was no rugby league, what would Lachlan Tim be doing? Uh, I think I'd still be doing something involved with sport. I'm um, studying teaching at the moment, so I might be doing that somewhere, but I think I'd be playing some sort of sport at some yeah. level somewhere, or being involved in a sport, I'm not sure what it would be, but I'm sure yeah. I'd be doing something wrong. Yeah, awesome. So, let's look down the line, 10 years time, where do you see yourself? Um, hopefully I can still be playing footy somewhere. Yeah. Hopefully I can still be playing in NRL somewhere, or doing that as my job, but if not, teaching somewhere like I said yeah. doing something involved in sport if I'm not still playing rugby league so yeah. that's pretty where I stand yeah. myself. Awesome so the final and most important question of the day the 26th question what is your favourite piece of 26 clothing merchandise? Um, with a 26 hoodie so the skin coloured hoodie as a tank hoodie yeah nice so, so. Go, go, everyone go cop a tan hoodie because big lucky teams yeah, are sure. out. Yeah one of those they're good. Awesome lucky thanks very much for your time today yeah. mate um, I know you've got an extremely busy schedule and it's an absolute honour to have you as the first guest of 26 questions by 26 clothes Thanks very much, mate. Appreciate it, mate.